These are the best ways to get experience in Trove. I'll go over each of them and how you can boost your experience gain. If you understand what these mean already and you know all the methods to increase XP, you probably don't need to watch any more of this video. The first and arguably easiest and most important method is joining a good club that has this fixture active, giving you 30% more at all times and 300% increase to bonus XP. The second is having patron active. This gives you 50% at all times, along with all these other bonuses. The third is having an XP potion running. I don't recommend wasting your money on these, but you can craft one every week in the Bomber Royale bench. The fourth is playing on Saturday. This boosts your experience by 50% or 100% of patron. And fifth is playing on XP boost week, which grants a boost of 100% during the whole week. You can stack all of these if you have a good primary club, play on Saturday during XP week with patron and XP potion. This is the ultimate way to spend your XP potions that you may have saved up. But if you want to get your main to level 30 ASAP, my opinion is that it's still fine to use them on any Saturday that you want to grind levels. If you type slash adventure rewards, you can see how many daily quests slash rewards you still have available. The geode quests can be done five times and will give you the largest amount of experience for solo play. If you are strong enough to do five star dungeons in at least Uber 8, it will be easiest to grab this quest five times per day and do those dungeons. If you can enter a higher uber but not complete the dungeons, you can still try to see if anyone else is clearing there, grab your quest and leech theirs. If you are not at this level or PR yet, or simply don't want to do it that way, you can enter Geode Sanctuary, go down to these guys and take any quest five times over here, or split it up. Feed Critters is the easiest one. So I suggest you do your main quest about Geode or just buy some critter treat slash materials from market or other players. If you go to any biome except the first novice world, you have your daily quests, which is not as good as the Geode ones, but you have way more quests to complete. And there is a spreadsheet in which you can track your progress, which I will link in the description if you want to use that. You should complete these in the highest Uber you can, Uber 9 and up has the best spread of biomes. So what I do is I go to the highest uber I can, I type get world id and then slash join world and then paste this which is already copied. Now if I press my arrow up key on the keyboard it will automatically type my last sentence and send me back to where I am in this world. So for example if we see this one that I ended up in now I have Kandoria next to me, I have ice next to me so I would probably go to here, permafrost, grab this daily quest, and then I do arrow up, but for some reason I also have to press down one time, like this time. And now I have the quest and I can proceed into the snow here and look for glacial shards so I can complete that quest. If I saw that there was an outpost already nearby, I wouldn't have to go back to that world to grab the quest, I would just simply run to the outpost here. And look, we found some. Another method is that you could go to each of these three first, grab all those quests, you can only have three at once, I think, and come back to this world and try to complete them in order, and then you grab the next three and so on. I never do any Neon City quests. You can if you want, but you have to search a ton of outposts to find a quest you want, and some are not even worth it, like the donation one. If you reached the PR of entering U10 worlds, or perhaps U11, you can now farm XP while AFK, granted you have people clearing. Type slash join 5 farm and look for people hosting U10 ships. It is this dungeon and if you stand in the middle you can reach the XP of all the 6 areas being cleared. And supposedly you clear up to wave 71 to 80, usually 73 or 74. This is the most chill method, granted you can find one and you're eligible to join. You can always try your luck by typing X ship or whispering someone who just got their clearers ready. There's also those who farm crystalline cores in U10 or U11 on top side. Sometimes they have auto invite as it's called and people usually call out something like U11 auto add and wait or add and join. I actually haven't seen people do this in U10 in a long time but taking part in these farms is also a good way to earn experience and perhaps get your daily geode quests done at the same time. And if you did all your dailies, you can't find any 5 star farm, then your last resort is doing delves. 
and honestly delves is never a bad thing to do. My method would be to try and enter the highest delve depth that you can still comfortably clear. You should always be in delve chat slash join delve to see if anyone is doing a run you want to join. If they have no requirements and thus a 115 plus run, that's awesome. And if not, then you can try hosting your own with a private stepper and see if you can get strong people to join and clear. And to get private steppers, just do your weeklies. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then go check out my free to play series where I take an account from fresh to about 24,000 power rank. And bonus to y'all who are watching this first day of release, I'm giving away 100 flux tanks, aka 1 million flux, sponsored by a sub who reached out to me on Discord. Leave any comment you want, but end it with your in-game name. I'll randomly try to invite one of you until successful when I'm online, and I'll trade you the tanks. And I will record the whole thing and show it in the next video who won. Peace.